everybody. Sorry, didn't have my camera mounted. Eh. All right. Okay, almost got this, I swear. Okay, let me see just a little bit. Yay! Hello! Welcome to Tips and Tricks Tuesday. For some reason, I'm nervous today. I don't know why. I feel... Ugh. How are you guys? I'm going to wait for a few people to get on. Notice that I'm live. Do you see my tree? Isn't it cute? My daughter decorated it all by her lonesome. Well, I mean, I helped her, but... Ooh, hold on. There's a new... New. Put on a mask and give yourself a fun look. Tap the magic wand to try one yourself. Oh, this could be interesting. Magic wand. Pop. Well, that's just weird color. Black and white. Ooh, funk. Oh, it's just fades. Like, I'm in a 50s movie. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, we'll just do normal. Nope, that's pop. Okay. And how do I close out of this? Close? Okay. Okay. So for those of you who don't know, I saw a little thing on the bottom that said, put a new mask, give yourself a fun new look. And I was like, oh my God, I thought they were, huh? Hi, honey. <laughs> this is my daughter, Ashley. Ashley, you say hi. Hi. <laughs> That's everybody in Flourish. In Flourish? In Flourish. Yeah? Yeah, these are my friends. Yeah? Yep. I can see them. Well, they can see you. Yeah? Yep. So, this is kind of what I wanted to go over today. Um, I had a couple different things. Um, I just don't want to crush your toes, honey, okay? Alright, there you go. Can I have something to eat? Uh, can you go ask Daddy? <laughs> so. This is what I wanted to talk to you guys about today is sometimes when you hear things like a uh, hundred K group or Etsy top seller or even in the, the mids group or somebody's getting a thousand orders, somebody's getting, you know, 20 orders a day. It kind of puts this image in your head that they apparently have all of their stuff together. They've got it all going on. They've got everything all figured out. They've got everything all scheduled and they know what's going on. And that is not always the case. <laughs> Hi, Amanda. Hi, Cherry. It is... Uh, honestly, Cherry, I saw your name the other day and I have a cousin named Cherry McDonald and I got incredibly excited. Not that I'm not excited to see you, but I was like, oh my gosh, my family's in here. And that wasn't the case. I forgot it was Tuesday too, Samantha. Honestly, that's why it's kind of late today. Um, my whole week is thrown off. We had our family reunion party on um, Christmas party on Sunday. Every year it's always been on a Saturday, so I'm a day behind all week this week. And it is just throwing me off. But I wanted to talk to you guys about how sometimes, not necessarily that we give people more credit than they have, but that every one of us Etsy shop owners is just another person. Same thing with our customers, um, not to like pop anybody's bubble, but it's like even if you make 100k a year, even if you get 100 orders a week, you're still just a normal person. And some people like instantly put that on a pedestal. So I just wanted to kind of open this little bubble, hi, that I'm a completely normal person. All right. I might be, I'm not normal. That's a lie. <laughs> but there is nothing in particularly fantastic about myself. I have a very average house. I have a thousand interruptions a day. And there may be more than usual with interruptions today because, you know, both my kids are awake. But that's part of just figuring out how to balance work and your shop and your family. I have my, I mean, most people when they do their shop critiques, if they do them or mentor calls or whatever, they've got an office, they've got their own room. It's nice and quiet. I'm right in like the eye of the storm. I am in the middle of my kit. Well, not the middle of my kitchen. I'm against the wall in my kitchen, but 
I've got, you know, I spent an hour today folding four loads of toddler laundry. Do you know how many tiny pairs of pants there are in a load of laundry? A lot. And it is so time consuming. <laughs> Hi. So I just wanted to share with you guys that it's, there's no secret balance to family and shop. It is just going with the flow and it's being okay when things are less than perfect. I will never not have a load of dishes in my sink. I will never be caught up on laundry. Just like your shop is never going to be done, your house is never going to be perfect if you're trying to do Etsy as a job or you're trying to can kick off your Etsy shop and you're trying to balance your family, you got to let some things go. And my kids are always at my feet, but you know what? At least my kids are there. I, I don't want to be locked away in an office. I want to be in the middle. I want to still see everything that's going on. And I've just gotten a lot of questions lately about what is your daily schedule like? And it's just my fit. We focus on, we do a big breakfast in the morning. It can consist of cereal or waffles. It doesn't matter. Sometimes it's just a smoothie. Sometimes it's just a piece of toast, but we all sit down and breakfast is our big thing. And then I try to help out with chores for a couple hours. I try to be sitting down and doing work by 10 or 11. Um, I crank out some orders. I do critiques and mentor calls generally while my kids are napping. And then it's usually scrapping to try to get the rest of my orders done that have to be shipped that day. And we usually end up leaving for the post office at 445. Therefore, my mailmen hate me because I will go into the post office almost every day with a trash bag full of orders. And they're just like, thank you. And I was like, you don't mean that. That was the least sincere thank you I've ever heard in my life. But you have a good day, sir. <laughs> and it's just, that's, that's the way I have to do it. I have to try to squeeze in things where I can. My son loves your Christmas tree. Thank you. This is honestly, like, kids make Christmas. I have always loved Christmas, but this year I've, bought, I've gotten so into it. My daughter cranks Christmas music every day and dances in it in her dress-up shoes. Um, and she decorated the tree and I've got every set of lights that we own is on the inside of the house this year instead of the outside. So it's like zigzagged all down my hallway on the ceiling. It's around my office. It's hanging in my doorways. Like my kids are just so excited about Christmas this year. And it's making me in the mood for it. Like kids really make Christmas. Um, Okay, so that's just, I just didn't want you guys to think that because you hear that someone's in the 100k group or because someone's in the mids group that it means that they are any better than you are. It just means they are in a different spot in their journey um, and it doesn't mean they've got it more together than you do. It could mean they've been doing it longer. Um, it's, it's all about finding a balance and you are just as special as anybody else and there is nothing that you cannot do on Etsy or on your own platform. All it is is research. It's the same basic rules no matter what platform you're selling on. You need to have good SEO to get found. You need to have stunning pictures to be seen and you know to stand out from everybody else. Hi Christina! What is the number to get into the mids? No, don't worry about just logging on. It is a yearly average of 35,000 is the mids. Um, but it's just, it's the same basic five pillars that Sarah teaches. And so the more that you master them, and everybody goes at a different pace. I'm crazy. Heather, Heather is crazy. Pulling insane hours. But you can't do, well, Heather can do it all the time because she's Heather. But you have to take time for yourself to rest. You have to figure out what balance works for you. I had a friend that I helped her open up her own Etsy shop. And I helped her set everything up. I helped her do her listings. And she just doesn't have the right momentum and personality and self-motivation to make it more than a hobby. And that's okay. That's not what she was interested in. She was interested more in going back to work and doing a different job. And that's fine. But that was just her personality wasn't driven enough to, to keep researching and she, she would get bored with it. And me, I'm, I like just submerge myself in it. I'm fascinated with it. Goals for 2017, mids group. Heck yes, you can do it. I believe in you. Oh, you guys are going to do fine. I don't know when you joined or how long you've been here, but once you start figuring all this stuff out, the sales are going to come rolling in.
So there was one other thing that I wanted to show you guys, and I just have to try to remember how to do it. So bear with me. Please feel free to post any questions that you guys have if there's anything you want to talk about. Because if you guys don't give me something to talk about, I'll just talk about me. And that's really not as interesting as you think. But let me see here. It was listings, shipping settings. There were a lot of people asking about um, shipping profiles. Because we cannot have a listing set up for upgraded shipping. And as Christmas is getting closer... We're starting to reach cutoff dates, um, like internationals, the cutoff date was uh, like two days ago because international USPS is 10 to 15 shipping days and that does not always include weekends. Um, and let me see, today's the 6th, so 5, 10 would be the 20th, 15 would be the 27th, so ideally the 3rd or the 4th should have been your cutoff date for internationals unless you have something faster than 10 to 15 days. Um, Otherwise, if you go to your, um, you go your shop listings, listings manager, then on the right hand side, if you click shops or shipping settings. Now, this is not if you do calculated shipping. Um, if you do calculated shipping, I I'm not really familiar with that because my items are so small and so light, I can package multiples in an order. So I don't know how to set up a upgraded processing time through shipping up or through calculated shipping but through a shipping profile you can add up a new, you can add a new profile you need to uh, shipping costs I'll enter the fixed costs manually thank you oh I guess you can do it with um, calculated shipping too so you're gonna create a new shipping profile either choose calculate or choose enter fixed costs your shipping origin which wherever you are place it then your shipping processing time. Now this is not, this is not how long it takes for the customer to get the item. Shipping processing time is how long it takes you to get the order to the mailbox or to the post office. How long does it take from when an order is placed between that order getting placed and you having that order leave your house? Mine is a very quick turnaround time. Mine is one to three business days. And then you are going to add, do, do, do. Then you add what you want your shipping to be in the US and for each additional item. Now, again, this is shipping profiles. So for my stuff, I ship $3 and then it is 10, is it 10 cents or did I have 25? I either had 10 or 25 cents for each additional item. So if you buy two items, it's going to be $3.25. If you buy three items, it's going to be $3.50, as opposed to it charging you $9 for all three different shippings. Then you can add different pricing for international. And then it says shipping upgrades. Now, upgraded name, I chose, I think I did expedited shipping I, is my upgrade, my shipping upgrade. So my standard, sorry, my standard shipping is two to five days. That's the generic first class USPS flat rate is two to five shipping days. So my upgraded name, I chose expedited shipping. You could do priority, whatever you want your word to be. Um, I did it domestic only because you don't do international. Um, for that one item, mine's $8. And then for each additional item, it's 10 cents. And then you can name that profile. So to go to, to make a shipping profile so that at checkout, the customer can choose between standard shipping and expedited shipping. Go to your listing, go to your shop, listings manager, or sorry, listings, listings manager, shipping settings. And then you're gonna create a new shipping profile and you're gonna enter all your standard shipping stuff and then you're gonna add a shipping upgrade. And it can say one to three days is usually, let me see here. Do, do, do. If I do expedited domestic one item, eight dollars each additional item, ten cents profile name expedited. I don't want it everywhere else. Do, do, do. Sorry. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, so my, my upgraded name... But how come I don't remember how to choose... Okay, I changed my name. I didn't do expedited. I said on, I set the name to one to three day shipping. That way the customer knows. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna write what the upcharge is in the price. So my standard shipping um, is $3. It is five extra dollars if you want expedited. So if you choose expedited shipping or the one to three day shipping, you're gonna pay $8 because it's $5 more. So the increase that you want the customer to pay, the difference between the priority shipping and the standard shipping, that's the number you're going to enter. So you should have your fixed shipping costs, your United States prices, your everywhere else prices. It's going to say shipping upgrades, one to three day shipping, domestic, one item is, for me, it's, it's $5 more, and then each additional item is 20 cents. So it's going to be the $3.50 or $3 plus that $5. And the way I figured out the difference or the price that I wanted to do this was I'm in New Hampshire. So I typed in the furthest zip code from me and the most I will ever have to pay for a one to three day priority label was like $7.50 or $7.75. So can you please stop? What are you doing? Are you trying to throw that away? Okay, go ahead. Your hands are full? Okay. Okay. You see? Work and family interaction. Always. So, um, anyway, I picked the zip code furthest from me in like Alaska or, or California or something. Mom, and that... What? It is too tall, but it's not a toy for right now, please, because it makes too much noise. Can you go put it away, please? You can use it in a little bit. It's too much noise while I'm on the video. On the video. What did she want to do? She wanted to mop. How, how awesome is that? My kid wants to mop. Um, I crushed her soul. Corbin. Corbin, go play, please. Uh, this is my son. Corbin, say hi. No, you don't want to say hi? <sighs> oh, now you're going to say hi now that I put the phone back? Yeah. yeah. So anyway, I did the, I found out what the prices were to get from me to California, whatever the most was. That way I will never be shorted on what my shipping hi. cost is. <laughs> and you can either choose to refund the customer any overages <laughs> or... Hi. <laughs> or you can pocket that. It's totally up to you what kind of business you want to run. Does anybody have any questions on shipping profile expedited options? Aw, he does. If you saw a picture of my husband when he was like two, they look exactly the same. <laughs> the big round eyes. I'm thinking you could save money on shipping. Yes, that is something I've actually been working on. Um... I've been getting the, the priority envelope flat rate things because some of them are only like $6 as opposed to the, the $7.50. <laughs> yes, you know what? The only way my life could be any better is if I could have like eight arms because I need to like make orders and type on the computer and fix boo-boos and do all the things at the same time. So what about you guys? Is there anything... Is there any questions that you have on organizing your day around your family, on setting up a shipping profile for the expedited shipping methods? Is there anything else that you guys want to chit chat about? So do you change all of your items to the new shipping profile so that no one can order first class? You can. Um, it depends. Just because you can change it so that it says, um, to receive by Christmas and have that be the name of your um, shipping method instead of one to three day um, guaranteed by Christmas until 10, 19, 12, 10, 12, 19 or something. So just make that be the name of your expedited shipping method and they'll be like, oh, okay, either standard shipping or if I want it guaranteed by Christmas. Are you humming me? Did you steal cookies? I didn't steal cookies. I gave myself permission to eat them. I'm an adult. I do what I want. <laughs> Hi, 
as you're eating a cookie, by the way. So yeah, I just changed, I would change the name of it. Honestly, I haven't changed it yet. I would just, I don't know, it's totally your call. Cause I'm just noticing that a lot of people are, are not panicking, but oh, right. I, I saw that you wanted, you were rebranding and I missed your question. I'm sorry, Carly. Okay. And my nose is like so itchy today. I don't know what my problem is. I'm rebranding to focus on moms who do more for their families than themselves. So most moms who are on a budget but want little luxuries. I sell bath bombs and nail polish. Do you have any other nice things I can offer that these moms would love? Anybody can chime in. Hmm. Yeah, I just didn't want you to think I ignored you. I'm sorry. Um, bath bombs and nail polish. Could you do, what if, you, would you be interested in doing any kind of a soap or a shower gel? I personally, I am a crazy mom that tries to do all the things. I don't know what it is. Baths weird me out. I know, I'm weird. But sitting in a bath just isn't, isn't my cup of tea. I will put wine in a to-go coffee cup and I will take a, a, a wine to-go cup into the shower and that is my, <laughs> don't judge me. That is my relaxed time. Ooh, massage oils. That's a good one. Yeah, I saw somebody that had like a migraine oil for like your temples. I was actually thinking about getting that too because my husband's had horrible migraines lately. But yeah, I would think like a shower gel. I would love a shower gel. Something that smells fabulous or any kind of soap. <sighs> Anybody else? What you guys got? What's going on with you guys? Fill me in. I have told you all about me. Tell me all about you. I want to know. Ah, do you see my husband? Ha ha honey, you're in the screen. Oh, they didn't see that. Thank God. <laughs> no more cookies. Daddy's eating cookies. Ask him for a bite. And that's how you get your husband back. <laughs> <laughs> Carly asked, hey, husband, Carly wants to know why there's dirty dishes. You're just standing around eating cookies. <laughs> oh, God. You made your first handmade Amazon sale today? Go you! I know, right? He's such a slacker. I don't know what I'm going to do with him. But yeah, handmade, my handmade Amazon is actually picking up a little bit. It's never done as good as Etsy, but I also have done minimal, like zero research on handmade Amazon. But I do almost have, I'm this close to having my shop doc website complete. Can you talk a little bit about renewing and how to choose what listings to renew? I only have a handful of items. I sure can. So the renewing process is hit or miss. With some people, some people find that it works, like me. And there are some people that say that it doesn't do anything. Um, and there's no hard evidence to prove either way. But I try to renew only items that are just like when you do your promoted listings. You want to renew items that have good SEO because the whole point is trying to get fined. So your best sellers, um, your high ranking SEO listings, your listings that have the most views, which might sound a little weird. Um, and depending on how many sales a day you get, depends on how many times you wanna renew. So if you only get like a sale a day, then I suggest only renewing once a day. And you wanna look at your um, stats and see when you have the highest peak. Like look at the past seven days, click on each day individually. And whenever you see the most consistent peak, that's when you want to renew because that means that that's when your target market is currently looking online. Um, I want to apply at Handmade at Amazon, but I don't have a workspace. So what do I do for pics? Make one up. Just take a desk and like, I totally made one up at the time because my desk is nowhere, doesn't look anything like the pictures that I staged. 
but just stage a picture. Just find a desk and like push a desk chair over to it. Have a laptop. Have whatever your supply. A fistful of your supplies over at the side. Just it's like you had a magazine coming over to take a picture. Just pretend that you got your shit together. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> You have your stuff together, yes. Yeah, I just made mine up. <laughs> See, I did it to everybody just made, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Customers come and they are gonna look at all of these staged photos we have and they are gonna think that we've got all of our stuff going on and they are gonna judge us by the cover that we are putting up front. And the whole point that I wanted to make with talking about all of this is, it goes with Sarah's, um, I can't think of the word, not mentality, not momentum, mindset. Aha. It goes with the mindset thinking. Should I wait until I have more sales? No, I don't wait until you have more sales. Renew. Renew a couple. I renew an item at least once a day, but I get a higher majority of sales. So I go anywhere from 20 to 40 sales. So I actually renew, if I haven't gotten a sale, not bragging, I'm just explaining. If I haven't gotten a sale in two hours, I renew an item. And then usually 20 to 30 minutes later, I'll get a sale from it. Um, oh, but about staging your desk area, you're making it look like you know what, you have all of your stuff set up in this perfect little cubicle. And this is what we call faking it until you make it. You are giving off the mindset and the appearance that you are all organized. Hi, Ashley. And you've got this all together and you work out of this perfectly neat, organized, you never have a messy office. You've got all of your supplies ready on hand. And as creatives, that is never the case. None of us have a perfectly clean uh, workspace, but that's the appearance we give. And just like that, that's the feeling that you're giving your customers, that's what I want you guys to realize about any other seller who appears to be doing better than you or appears to have more of their stuff together. Then you, you don't know what's behind the curtain, you know? Yes, they are faking it till they make it. And if you act like, yeah, I'm amazing. I have all my stuff together. I know what's going on. What of it? They're going to see that and they're going to think that it's true. And therefore, if they think it's true, it's true. So that's what I want. I want you guys to be positive. Okay, another off the wall about pics. Where you take pics. Do we need them? Oh, the about pics? You absolutely need those. Corbin! Shh. Um, the about pictures, you absolutely need them. The whole reason customers come to Etsy is because you are not a big box store. You are an individual creative. And the more that people get to see you and your life, they're going to make connections with you. If they see your family, if they see your friends, if they see pictures of your pets, um, if they see a picture of you, I keep using this example today. So if you have a critique, you're get, if you have a critique and I did it today, you're going to hear this example. If they see a picture of you reading a book outside, they're going to go, oh, I love reading books. I want to be outside reading a book. That means they're making a connection with you with these about pictures. And when they make a connection, it's instilling trust. And when they trust you, they're willing to throw their money at you. They want to know that you're hand making these. You're not just buying it and reselling it. You're an actual person that is taking time in their home to make something. So you should do that with three of your pictures. Um, should be your family, your pets, your what you like to do. One should be your workstation, and then one should be a short video of you working your craft. Wasn't there someone in here who made a backdrop of their clean workspace to hide their messy one? Probably, because I did that myself. I completely, I cleaned the whole thing, and I staged, like, little pieces that I was working on and made it look like, oh, look, I lined them up in a cute little line next to their purchase order. That's not how I do stuff. <laughs> Hi, Lori. That's how I need people to throw their money at me. Yeah, so when you do your about pictures, that's why your um, your profile picture at the top. Oh, let me close out of this. Uh, do, do, do. When you go to your shop, you know how on the uh, left, right hand side, it's a shop owner and it's got a, you want to put a picture of your face as the shop owner. They want to know who you are. You want to put your name, not your shop name. Um, 
And then on the bottom, pictures of you, pictures of your family, shop updates. When you do a shop update, I kind of try to leave a little bit, if it's an action picture, like I posted um, a few orders I did the other day. Some of you might have seen the picture in the lounge. And I posted that as my shop update. And I tried to keep part of my Christmas tree. What are you looking for? Your blankie? Is it on the couch? Um, you try to keep part of your, I put part of my Christmas tree in it and a box of the red envelopes that the outers were going to go in. I purposely left part of my house in the picture because it lets them feel like they're with me. You know what I mean? Like they're getting to see where their orders are coming from. I don't know. I'm weird. I love when you get to like look at pictures of people's houses. Like when, um, oh, I'm going to feel terrible. <sighs> the new... The new expert we just got. Um, oh my gosh, what is his name? Lawyerman. Yes, lawyer man. What is lawyer man's name, honey? Joey. Joey did a quick little video introducing himself, and he went to go show, you know, introduce you to his dog, and it was like touring around his house, and I was like, "Whoa, your house is amazing!" I was totally like scoping out his ceilings and stuff. I've been posting pictures, I've been posting more updates, and I just posted a picture of myself at a Christmas craft show. Perfect! Yes, isn't his house amazing? And so I love getting to see little things like that, and I look for that in people's shop updates when, you know, it's shops that I've favorited and stuff, because it makes me feel like I'm getting to know that person a little more. It's that, that very, very personal, you know, a person's home is very personal. Another off question. Uh, if I want to do a special, like three of my custom items, I haven't found a good way to list it that lets my customers know they're getting what they're getting off the bat. Um, my customers know what they are getting off the bat, but is good for SEO. Should I just lose it and hope they find it in my shop once they are there? Are you talking about how you have... Um, shop there are different like items in a set is that what you mean is if you have if i want to do a special of three of my custom items can a i bundle, like. a bundle deal <laughs> uh the video is on the flourish page if you do a search for joey vitale uh v-i-t-a-l-e you will find it okay bundle deals Bundle deals are hard on, um, if it's something that you're doing like a coupon code for, you can set a minimum price. Um, so if you, sorry, I'm getting distracted. Um, if you have three different items and they add it to your cart, if you want them to buy all three together, then you could do a, a coupon code with like a minimum price of $50, which means they would have to have all three. You can also backlink the three different items. I'm going to have to talk to you more about that because my train of thought is just getting too um, detrained, derailed. You see, I can't even think. But if you send me a message, Kathy, um, I, will, I will help you with that if I can. <laughs> All right, Lisa, I just told my 11-year-old son what you sell and how successful you are, and he goes, she needs to raise her prices like a dollar per nose ring, and she'll be filthy rich. Just in case you need business advice from an 11 year old. <laughs> I was thinking about doing that. Back in the day when, um, when I first joined Flourish, Sarah told me to bump up my prices a dollar and I did it and then I got scared and then I changed them back. So I was actually thinking about doing that for the Christmas season, was bumping them up and seeing what happens. It is just hard because everybody else's prices are so like in the 20s and the 30s and mine are so inexpensive that bumping it up a dollar in comparison to my com competitors, oh no, um, is a lot. Okay, my writing isn't the best with my two-year-old on me either. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, Corbin's too, and he just ran off with a pair of fingernail clippers. We'll see how that goes. I love water. I'm addicted to bubbly water. 
like seltzer water. Love bubbles. Where do you live in New Hampshire? I do not mind. I live in a podunk little town called Wilton. Um, it's about, what, 45 minutes to Boston yeah. from here? Like we are 45 minutes north, northwest of Boston. So like Boston's right here, we're right here. No, northwest. All right, yeah. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and that was, there was another point I had to make. And I don't remember what it was. Oh, it was just about the whole, you know, I'm a total normal everyday person that shops at Walmart. Just because I make a little bit of money does not mean I'm going to spend like $30 on my kids' shirts that they're going to outgrow in three weeks. I'm going to Walmart. And I would go to Target, but Target's like 40 minutes away. Everything's 40 minutes away. No matter where you're going here, unless you're going to the grocery store down the street, everything's 40 minutes away. You're in Newburyport? Cool. I'm going to see. Detour. Google Maps. Let's see how far away you are from me. As I'm sure um, everybody else totally cares. <laughs> How far away Lori is from Lisa. <laughs> my two-year-old son said, beautiful tree. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that's, it's my favorite one. We went with the, um, the balsam fir instead of the, the spruce. Directions. Dude, that's like an hour away. Wait, are you... You're in Mass, right? I don't think there is a Newburyport, New Hampshire, is there? No, you're in Mass. Cool! I go to- oh, you're like right near Hampton. We go to Hampton every other year to do our family caricatures. For the past 11 years, my husband and I go every other year to get our caricatures done by the same guy. And we even started bringing our kids to him. Shop online at the children's place. I get tons of cheap stuff and free shipping. Oh, there was also another site. It's called like Skula. Sarah shared it once. Mm. Sorry, we're totally like completely off topic. I don't really have a topic. I just kind of like go on and see what you guys need to talk about. Yeah, Skula. If you um, sign up for a bunch of stuff... If you do a search for Skula, I think in Flourish or in the club wall, there was a really cool thing that Sarah did where if you like create a wardrobe and then sign up for their email list, you could get like $60 worth of clothes for free. And I did it for my son and it was fantastic. And it's, it's used clothes, but it's, they're in impeccable condition. We do need a Northeast Flourish meetup. We really should. You know what? We should do it at Hampton. Not that Hampton's the greatest beach, but I know Hampton's a terrible beach, but it's like local-ish. <sighs> Old Orchard. Oh, I love Old Orchard. They have Elise's Pizza there. Old Orchard Beach is amazing. All right, so I've been on for a little while now, and we went over, um, if anybody has any questions, um, we went over how to do a new shipping profile if you want to have expedited shipping. We went over how, you know, don't let somebody's, it's kind of like when your friends post all of these amazing pictures on, on Facebook and make their life look perfect, and you're like, dude, I know that even though you're wearing this super fancy top, I am totally wearing pajama bottoms right now. <laughs> I wasn't saying I was wearing a fancy top. I'm saying that people do it. I love my husband. I love him so much. He's the light of my life. Corbin, stop with the drawers. Sorry. Concord would be cool too, and a play date. Yeah, Jason's in Concord. One of the kid that kid. He's my age. The, the guy that originally got me on Etsy lives in Concord. He, uh, he does a glass, glass beads and stuff. Um, anyway, 
But yeah, just don't, everybody posts their best pictures of them on Facebook and on Instagram, and that is just not how their life is. You know, we always want to post the best. And so I just want you guys to know that we are all totally normal. I am not some like magical guru. I've just been around the block a couple times. Not in that way. I didn't mean, <laughs> I heard it as I said it. It's not, <laughs> it's not my fault. Um, if you would like a shop critique, now that I have completely embarrassed myself, if you would like a shop critique or if you want me to take a look at your shop, <sighs> please feel free to visit my shop. I am the shop doc at Etsy. Um, and if you want to check out my other site for any faux piercings, um, fake nose rings, fake lip rings for your kids for stocking stuffers, not like kids kids, but like teens or something, uh, it is Dazzling Adornments on Etsy. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to message me anytime on Facebook. My name is Lisa Mitchell, and I also do the mentor calls. If you want to do $25 for 30 minutes, I am pretty much free all week this week. So if you've got any questions, let me know. Um, anyway, I hope you guys have a great week. Can you believe the first week of December is almost over? It's ridiculous. But I hope you guys have a great rest of your week, and I will see you next Tuesday. Bye, guys!